Hello dear students. So in the previous class we have seen Laspius, Pasches, Fisher's index numbers. Now today we will see Fisher's index number first then whether it is satisfying the time reversal test and factor reversal test both are very important time reversal factor reversal both the test whether the this fisher's ideal index number is satisfying or not this we are going to see i must tell you please follow this talk especially in computer desktop or laptop computer so that you'll have much clear idea about this problem clarity will be there always take the notes also now coming to the problem first you know that uh, fisher's ideal index number is you know okay so the problem is they are asking computers fisher's fisher's ideal index fisher's ideal index and show that it satisfies factor reversal and time reversal fisher's ideal index number we have to calculate and we have to show that whether it is satisfying the time reversal and factor reversal test this is the problem given now problem is here now before going to the problem let me explain you what is time reversal and what is factor reversal test time reversal test the formula is here p01 p0 means means p01 means fisher's fisher's ideal index number into p10 quite opposite p01 whatever we have taken opposite to that p10 that is equal to 1 this should be equivalent to the 1 then only we can say that fisher's ideal index number is satisfying <clears throat> formula if we extend it this is fisher's number fisher's ideal index number we have done already in the previous problem p0 p1 q0 by p0 q0 into p1 q1 by p0 q1 this is we know it other side we are just taking quite opposite so that is p10 p10 means reverse so how we are reversing it see p1 q0 turns into p0 q1 wherever you are finding 1 will put 0 if you find 0 will put 1 that's it reverse so p1 q0 turns into p0 q1 p0 q0 p1 q1 p1 q1 p0 q0 p0 q1 p1 q0 so like we have just reversed the fisher's ideal index number that's the reason we'll we will say that p01 into p10 reverse so that it must be 1 the answer must be 1 at the end so after calculation of all this if answer is 1 then we can say it is satisfying the fisher's ideal index number second one is factor reversal test factor reversal test we are giving weightage preference to the weightage first so first one is p01 means fisher's fisher's into q01 q01 q0 means q why we are taking q means we are giving much uh, much uh, much weightage to the quantity so that's the reason we are writing q01 the formula if you see uh, so p01 into q01 this must be equivalent to the p1 q1 by p, p0 q0 so there it must be equivalent to 1 now here the answer must be this if you calculate these two p01 into q01 the answer must be sigma p1 q1 by sigma p0 q0 then only it is going to satisfy we can say now if you extend the uh, the same one p0 into q1 q01 so if you extend the formula will be like this p1 q0 by p0 q0 into p1 q1 by p0 q1 this is fishes up to here we have knowledge now rest how you are forming it i'll sh i'll tell you one uh, shortcut method easy to remember first one is q1 p0 so this is here q1 p0 p0 q1 actually but we are reversing it q1 p0 this we are taking first q1 p0 divided by next one it comes this one q0 p0 q0 p0 means first we are taking this second one is this q1 p0 
q1 p0 divided by q0 p0 q0 p0 then after that it comes q1 p1 this is third q1 p1 q1 p1 by lastly this one q0 p1 q0 p1 are you able to remember it very easy first we are taking this one 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 so that we get the answer of sigma p1 q1 by sigma p0 q0 if you are going to get the same answer then factor reversal test is also going to be satisfied getting it so we'll see a problem so that you will have much clarity now the problem is given here commodity p0 q0 p1 q1 so this this is the information given to us base year price base year quantity current year price current year quantity now what we need to calculate whatever is needed for the fishes the same one i have calculated already p0 q0 uh, p0 q0 and uh, then p1 q1 this is p1 q0 sorry p1 q0 yes p1 q0 p0 q0 p1 q1 p0 q1 so as per this fishes we have calculated the same one we are going to apply for the factor reversal or time reversal so once if you have calculated it's easy let's go for first fishes fishes ideal index number formula is you know p1 q0 by p0 q0 into p1 q1 by p0 q1 into 100 so p1 q0 p1 q0 is 1516 1516 return p0 q0 1392 next p1 q1 p1 q1 1734 next p0 q1 p0 q1 is 1572 into 100 if you simplify this you will be getting fisher's ideal index 134.75 up to here you have much idea now coming to the next one that is time reversal test time reversal test formula is p01 that is fisher's into p10 means reverse is equal to 1 we are writing the same formula whatever i taught you so the same formula is written here the same formula is written this is fishes and uh, this one is reverse if you substitute the form uh, substitute the exact the amount so then it, it will be p1 q0 p1 q0 is here 1516 divided by p0 q0 1392 into p1 q1 1734 divided by p0 q1 this is 1572 then this one also p0 q1 p0 q1 this one 1572 p1 q1 1734 p0 q0 1392 p1 q0 1572 1516 so if you simplify this you will be getting answer of root of 1 root of 1 means if you remove the root also it will be 1 only so the answer is 1 now as per this if the answer is 1 that time reversal test is satisfying because the answer is 1 in the same way we will go for the factor reversal test factor reversal test is formula is p01 into q01 p01 is you know q01 also i have explained just now so the answer should be equivalent to the p01 p1 q1 by p0 q0 answer must be equivalent to that so if you put the formula and if you substitute all the values we are getting answer of 1734 by 1392 1734 what is this 1734 p1 q1 only so this is p1 q1 1392 1392 is here p0 q0 by p0 q0 so answer is same one we are getting it means factor reversal test also satisfying where the calculations are equivalent to the p1 q1 by p0 q0 so one sentence you can write are you getting it just watch the problem simple only the thing is logic you have to understand fisher's ideal index if you know time reversal factor reversal only you have to understand the formula the formula is this here fisher's we are reversing and the answer must be equivalent to 1 factor reversal what we have done this is fishes you know fishes 
plus for factor reversal first we are taking this one p q1 p0 by q0 p0 into q1 p1 by q0 p1 1 2 3 4 so the answer should be sigma p1 answer sigma p1 q1 by sigma p0 q0 simple easy to remember p1 q1 by p0 q0 so that uh, uh, another test that is second one second test that is this one factor reversal test also going to be satisfied now we, once if you calculate it you are getting that so second one that is factor reversal test also satisfied because the answer is sigma p1 q1 by sigma p0 q0 that's all simple so this is fisher's ideal index number whether it is satisfying time reversal test and factor reversal test very important problem you may expect in the final exam fishes you may expect and they may ask you fish calculate fishes index number and also check out whether it is satisfying the time reversal test and factor reversal test very important so please don't leave it easily you can score the marks practice well see the description box for more subjects more topics so wish you good luck practice well